Let's get something straight right now. Neutral does not mean boring. Some of the most beautiful interiors you'll ever see are based on neutral colours and it's all about using them with style and having an eye for detail. Based on the elements of nature, neutrals are restful, uncomplicated and I think very versatile. Now we're going to start with off-whites. Now these are very soft and can be very warm colours. They're very versatile and I think they work really well in a lot of different types of spaces. Now the colour palette that we're looking at today is based on Snowfall, which is a warm off-white. So Katrina, what fabrics will you put with it? Well again, you know, to work in keeping it really neutral because it's a smaller room generally and we want to get um, a feeling of space, but at the same time just slightly using tones. So the room has different layerings. And we can lift something like this, a little bit of fun, animal print, new twist, new colour. But the background of that is neutral. Mid-tone neutrals create a real sense of quietness and calm in a space. And they're a little braver than the off-whites. And the colour that I like to use is toasted almond. Now two very good uh, colours to go with that are olive and chocolate. So fabric-wise, what have you got? Here we have now a very sophisticated damask. That is beautiful. You can see that now in a dining room. Could look really, really nice. We have our chocolates here, and, we, and I like here's the pattern, just bringing out all the different tones here, having these little circles of colour. Or we've got our plain rich. And again, that would sit, the toasted almond behind that would just be fabulous. So if you want to warm up a room, use warm neutrals. Now with warm neutrals, think pure, soothing, relaxing and comforting. These colours are perfect for rest areas in the home, so obviously some place like your bedroom or if you've got a little quiet TV room. Now the colour that I've chosen today is hair, H-A-R-E, as our background colour and it's got a lot of warmth to it, particularly in the evening light. So Katrina, what tones would you put with it? Um, again, here I've used a fabric that has a soft little dot, bringing in the, the shade, the hair shade in along. Or again, you can bring it against a fabric on, again, similar to this here. Now the thing about these tones is they're very soft, they're very subtle, but particularly in the evening light, they change and they become much deeper. That's right, they have a very inviting feel to them. So having seen all of these neutral colour combinations and accent colours, it really goes back to the original point, neutrals do not have to be boring.